if you've got eggs, you've got dinner. again and honestly if you've got eggs you've got dinner hey we've all been there you get home from work you think what am I gonna make for dinner right you have no idea look in your fridge and as long as you have BC eggs hey you have dinner let's see what I got here well I got some leftover cut onions I'm sure we can do something with that that was from last night's dinner hey look I got some sun-dried tomatoes salami of course I got some cheese let's see what else obviously our lovely BC eggs let's just make an omelet so I'm just gonna make a quick two egg omelet. Obviously you need two BC eggs. Every single large BC egg has 14 key nutrients, all nine essential amino acids, six grams of the highest quality protein you can get. And one egg, it's only 80 calories. And every time I make an omelet, for every two eggs, I put in one tablespoon of water. That just helps the egg come together a little bit easier, allows you to fold it a little easier. And some people will put milk or cream, uh, which is okay, but water is closer to the composition of eggs than milk or cream. Milk or cream, they come from a cow. Do water instead, and it's only a tablespoon. Every time I make an omelet, I start off with a little bit of oil in the pan. So what I'm gonna do, since I'm using sun-dried tomatoes, is I'm going to steal some of the oil that's in this. So all I do is I just fish some of these out without draining them, put them in a little container, and then when I use the sun-dried tomatoes, I'll use the residual oil that's left over in there. Since it's gonna be an Italian omelet with the salami, I'm gonna make the salami a little bit small, okay? It's like little tiny slivers of salami. So I'll just take some slices really thin, like so, and then I'll just cut it up in little tiny slivers like that. And then I just break it up. A little bit of parsley just for some color, a little nutrition. And all I do is I just rip off just a little bit that I'm gonna use, go to my sink and rinse it, give it a good squeeze like that, and chop it up. It's really that easy. You don't need to wash the whole bunch if you're not gonna use the whole bunch right away. Since I decided on Italian omelet, I think I'll go with Parmesan cheese instead of the cheddar cheese I pulled out. All right, let's head over to the stovetop. I preheat my pan. I usually start off at a little bit higher heat, medium high. And then like I say, I'm gonna steal some of that oil from the sun-dried tomatoes. Let that get hot. The trick is with an omelet, is that you don't wanna to put too many ingredients in with the eggs. Because if you do, there's not enough egg to surround them, which is gonna make it more difficult for it to flip or fold over or whatever you're doing for your omelet. A few ingredients, if you want more, you can always put some inside as a filling or on top but not too much with the egg mixture, I'll show you. So I spread that oil a little bit around the pan. About a tablespoon of chopped onion. Again, we don't want very much. This is just to give it some great flavor. Since I'm doing some salami, I'll just put a couple of strips in there. And we can even put a couple of those sun-dried tomatoes in there too. We'll just let that cook up a little bit until the onions are cooked and soft. Take our beautiful beaten BC eggs. So that's two BC eggs in here with a tablespoon of water. And you just wanna let it cook. And you're gonna watch the edges, right? And as soon as the edges start to cook, I'll show you what to do next. All right, it doesn't take very long. Let me show you what to do now. You can see that they're starting to set a little bit. So what I do is I just take my spatula, make sure it's a silicone spatula, and I lift it up, going around, tipping the pan, and letting the mixture drain down below the omelet. And you keep doing it, you keep making your your way around the whole omelet. Until there's no more wet egg mixture left. And it's pretty much set now where you can fold it. We're just gonna let the bottom cook a little bit because we put the raw egg in there. Now, if you wanna put more ingredients, you can on the inside, but I just put it on one half because we're gonna fold it and make an American style omelet where it has filling on the inside. A little bit of more sun-dried tomato in there, grated Parmesan cheese. So a little bit more salt, pepper. And then we're going to make sure it's loose from the pan and get underneath and flip it over like that. And that's called an American style omelet where it has filling on the inside. Then on the top, we're gonna to put more cheese, 
little bit of parsley on there. Turn down the heat now to about medium and just let that cook until the cheese melts a little bit. You can always take a lid, put a lid on there, piece of tin foil to cover it. They really help trap that steam and melt that cheese a little bit faster if you like. All right, shut off the heat, we're done. That's how quick and easy dinner can be if you have BC eggs. Let me show you how to plate this now. Really simple, get your silicone spatula underneath it, get your plate standing by, and you just gently slide it onto the plate, and you have a beautiful two egg omelet. There you have it, an omelet is that simple. Always remember, if you've got eggs, you've got dinner. Don't forget to check out bcegg.com for a whole bunch of other great recipes, tips and tricks, and this is Chef Dez signing out. Where are you getting your protein from?